the Energy Ministry is looking at the viability of oil exploration in Turkana County through a field development plan, FDP. Energy CS Davis Churcher says the FDP report will be ready by the end of August and will inform the decision on whether they will continue with the exploration. The CS further stated that they have a limited time period to extract the oil due to the effects of climate change, further casting more doubt over the whole project. The government is racing against time to extract oil from the Turkana oil fields with the hopes of the entire project pegged on the field development project to assess the viability and profitability of the whole project. According to Energy CS Davis Churcher, the report being undertaken by EPRA will be ready by the end of August and will give the government a clear roadmap on what to do next. You may or may not be aware that we are at a phase where if countries if, if companies like Kenya with Total and Africa Oil can write off um, their investment in a block where discoveries have been made, uh, the risk capital that goes into a block where discoveries have not been made is a challenge. Chichi further stated that the government is operating on a limited time period as Kenya is one of the signatories to the Paris Climate Agreement, which will prevent it from exploring non-renewable energy by 2030. He also stated that they will need at least one trillion shillings to undertake the project, which will be an uphill task, given that two of the three partners in the venture have already folded. To get capital today to develop a project that may be seen to be impacting negatively on the environment could be a challenge. So we need to work quickly within the window available to us today to ensure that we bring this project to a closure. It's a great project for this country if we can accelerate but carry everybody with us so that uh, we are all on the same page. The CS was speaking during a meeting with the leadership of Turkana County for an update on the oil project where they expressed their expectations of the project. Uh, we wanted to know uh, the contents of uh, the FDP, that's the failed development plan, uh, which now we've really been told that is still undergoing some process uh, through parliament uh, and then it will go again to public participation. Uh, that is w one uh, that has been clarified to us. This comes as British exploration firm Talo Oil assumed full ownership of the Kenya crude oil project in Turkana after its joint venture partners Africa Oil Corporation and Total Energies exited. Faisal Ahmed, Citizen TV, Nairobi.